yeah now we shall see how to send a packet from one host to other host uh, there are two ways it is also called as casting so casting it is of two types one is unicast so unicast means sending a packet from one host to only one particular host is called unicast and other is called broadcast broadcast is sending a packet from one host to many hosts that is called broadcasting okay so let's see about unicasting let us say there is a network and the network's id is 11.0.0.0 so what do you mean by 11 11 is nothing but class a isn't it if you look at the range of class a you must you know you must be remembering this class a range is 1 to 126 and class B range is 128 to 191 and class C range is 192 to 223 I think yeah okay now if you look at this uh, class A this 11 belongs to class A therefore network ID is first 8 bits and the host ID is next uh, you know, following 24 bits so network ID is 8 bits and host ID is uh, 24 bits and say this is class A now we have a host in this let us say the IP address of this host is 11.1.2.3 from this host I want to send a message to one host in the other network only one host so say the other network is 20.0.0.0 again this is class A that is why we are having the network ID as 20 and the host ID part is 0 so whenever I have all zeros in the host ID part that represents the network ID that is the reason we are never going to use the first IP address as any valid IP address to any host so always the first IP address is reserved so that it could be used as the network ID of the entire network so either you take a block or a network or subnet we are never going to use first IP address that is why we can configure only you know number of IP addresses minus 2 I'll tell you why we are not even going to use the last IP address I'll tell you why we are not going to use it later let us say there is one more host here and the host IP address is 20.1.2.3 if you want to send a message from this host to this host which means one to one it is also called as unicasting in that unicasting we are going to have a packet and in this packet we are going to put the data and destination address and source address in the source address we are going to put this number and in the destination address we are going to put this number this is nothing but unicasting unicasting is sending a message from one host to the other host right so one thing you have to observe is if it is class a network in the network id part it is a valid number and in the host id part it is all zeros this number is used to represent the entire network here also the same right and now we see what is broadcasting there are two types of broadcasting one is called limited broadcasting and other is called directed broadcasting so we shall see what limited broadcasting and what directed broadcasting is say we have a network and we have a host from this host if I want to send a message to all the other hosts in the same network then it is called limited broadcasting from a host I want to send a message to all the other hosts in the same network then it is called limited broadcasting uh, so what is the problem with this limited broadcasting is let us say this is a class A network 11.0.0.0 then how many hosts will be there in this network nearly 2 power 24 which is nothing but nearly 16 million right which means this host has to send out 16 million packets if it uses uh, unicast way if it has to send it to each each host one by one it has to nearly use 16 million packets which is really a uh, impossible right 16 million packets you have to send you know it is really practically you could do it but still you know it is going to hurt the hardware and software so that is why what we do is we do something called as limited broadcasting using the feature called limited broadcasting packet if you send one packet that will be automatically distributed to all the hosts 
how to do it is if you want to send any packet with such a capability which is called uh, limited broadcasting let us say ip address of this uh, host is 11.1.2.3 then this host will pre create a packet and put the message whatever it wanted to send and in the source address it is going to fill its ip address which is nothing but 11.1.2.3 in the destination address it has to send the message to everyone in the host everyone in the network right that is why in the destination address it is going to say it it wants to send to all therefore it is going to put all ones to you know 32 bits of all ones which means one 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 so on 32 bits if i encode it into dotted decimal number it is going to be 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot 255 so why 255 is 8 ones is nothing but 255 right so if you send out any packet with destination address is 255 255 255 255 that packet will be received by everyone in the network in the same network that is also called as limited broadcasting therefore limited broadcasting is a host wants to send a message to all the other hosts in the same network that is why it is called limited broadcasting and next one is directed broadcasting let's see what the directed broadcasting is so now you understood that the number 255.255.255.255 is reserved and it can never be assigned to any any host the reason is that number represents a broadcast address limited broadcast address is 255.255.255.255 this number should never be assigned to any uh, host because this number represents some other meaning right next one is directed broadcast directed broadcast is a host in a network wants to send a message to all the other hosts in some other network so say this network is 11.0.0.0 and this network is 20.0.0.0 right now if you observe this this is also a class a network how many hosts are there nearly 2 power 24 which is nothing but 16 million hosts are there but then i want to just send a message one packet and that has to be distributed to everyone in this particular network it is different from the previous one in the previous one limited broadcasting is used to broadcast from this host to everyone in the same network in the directed broadcast you know it is from this host to everyone in the other network that is how you know this is different so what you should observe here is we are not going to send a packet to the same network we are sending a packet to the different network in order to do that this host let us say the ip address of this host is 11.1.2.3 this host is going to create a packet and it is going to put the message in the packet in this source address source ip address it is going to put this number 11.1.2.3 and in the destination IP address, you know that you have to send a packet to everyone in this particular network. Therefore, what is the network ID? 20, valid network ID. And whom do you want to send it in this? To everyone, to all. That is why in the host ID part, we are going to say all. All means all ones. If I put all ones, it is going to be 255.255.255. Right? So, if I use this address, then this packet will be delivered to everyone in network 20 inside network 20 all the hosts right so we are never going to use a ip address which contains all ones in the host id part right so directed broadcast address is a valid in the network id part we are going to have a valid ip a valid number and in the host id part we are going to have all ones right so we have seen three kinds of numbers this is called a network id right network id is nothing but the number which is used to represent the network so don't get confused with the network id part and host id part of the ip address this is nothing but the network number an ip address which is used to represent the entire network is sometimes also called as network id right so network id is nothing but in the network id part we are having a valid number and in the host id part we are having all zeros therefore all zeros in the host id part is not a valid ip address which you can assign to any host that represents the entire network and all ones in the host id part it is used to represent a directed broadcast address of a network so even though practically we are having you know let us say 2 power n ip addresses in a network or a block 
we are not going to configure two power n holes the reason is two addresses have to be removed one address is for network id and the other address is for directed broadcast address therefore in class a even though two power 24 ip addresses are present per network we are going to have two power 24 minus two holes only per network in class b even though two power 16 ip addresses are present per network we are going to configure only 2 power 16 minus 2 hosts and even in class c even though we are having 2 power 8 ip addresses per network we are going to have only 2 power 8 minus 2 hosts configured therefore in exam just be clear about whether they are asking about the ip addresses or the host configured okay fine we shall see next coming to what is subnetting and all first thing is you know you see the range class a class b class c this one you by heart it or you know you can derive it 1 to 126 128 to 191 and 192 to 223 now given any ip address what i want you to do is first thing is find out the class to which this ip address belongs to depending on the class you could find out the network id and uh, depending on the class you can find out the directed broadcast address and limited broadcast address okay so first thing is 1.2.3.4 this one is a class a ip address because it is starting with one and the range of class a is 1 to 126 therefore what is the network id of this ip address the network id means what is the network to which this ip address belongs so i told you that in order to find out the network id you have to identify the host id part and in the host id part you have to put all zeros so network id part is nothing but 1.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. The reason is in the host ID part, I am putting all zeros, right? And uh, what about the directed broadcast address? Directed broadcast address is if someone from the other network wants to send a message to all the hosts in your network or this particular network, which is 1.0.0.0, what is the address they are going to broadcast it on? The address is 1.255.255.255. .255 .255 .255 which means in the network one we are going to send it to all the hosts right and what about the limited broadcast address whatever the ip address is whatever the network is limited broadcast address is going to be the same so what is it 255.255.255.255 this is always going to be the same right what about 10 10 also is a class a network therefore this is network id and this is host id in order to find out the network id we have to put all zeros in the host id part therefore 10.0.0.0 and what about directed broadcast address it is same directed broadcast address is 10 is the network to which you want to send to all the hosts 255.255.255 and what about the limited broadcast address 255.255.255.255 what about 130 130 falls in the range of class b so inside class b you know this 130 is there therefore what is the network id network id is 130.1 is network id and this is the the next 16 bits is host id part therefore it is 130.1.0.0 is the network id and what about the directed broadcast address 130.1.0 255.255 what about limited broadcast address it is same for all the networks what about class next one 150 150 also falls in the range of class b class b is 128 to 191 therefore this is the network id and this is the host id so 150.0.0.0 .0 is the network id and directed broadcast address is 150.0 c why did i write zero here because even in the network id part of the ip address zero is present that is why i am writing zero here and what about the director broadcast address 150.0.255.255 what about the limited broadcast same next one 200.1.0.1.10.100 so 200 falls in class c so in class c what is the network id part the first three octets and host ID part is 8 bits therefore 200.1.10.0 is the network ID and directed broadcast address is 
200.1.10.255 which means in the host ID part I am putting all ones and limited broadcast address is same there is no change what about 220 220 also falls in class C which means this entire part is network ID and this part is host ID therefore what is the network ID 220.15.1.0 and what is the directed broadcast address 220.15.1.255 and what is limited broadcast address it is all ones and what about 250 250 falls in class E in class E we don't have network ID host ID and we don't have uh, directed broadcast address or limited broadcast address therefore it is not possible what about 300.1.2.3 so 300 is not at all a valid IP address. The reason is uh, the IP address ends with uh, 255. So beyond 255 we cannot get any number. Therefore it is not a valid IP address. So this is the entire uh, description about uh, given IP address. What is the network ID? What is the directed broadcast address? And what is the limited broadcast address? Okay.